Whenever we are working with a lot of data, it is not an efficient way to make the user wait for the response from the server. You can imagine it is taking a few seconds just to generate an export of 100 users. So if we have like thousand or millions of records inside our database, it would take longer to respond to the user request. With queues, we won't be sending back the export file as a response, but some message to indicate something like the export has started. Once the file will be generated, we will store it inside the storage, local or S3, whichever that is being used, and the user will then be able to download that file. Now back in our code, it is very easy to implement queues for our export. We can do it by two different ways. One would be to call the queue method inside of a controller, which is also referred to as an explicit queuing. The other is by implementing the should queue interface in our export class and also called implicit queuing. I prefer the implicit way so that we don't have to manually export a report every time we use it in different controllers or different methods. So inside our export class, let's just implement this interface should queue and we need to use a trait called use queuable. Now inside of our controller, we just need to define where we want to store this file and what name should it have. We can use the store method on the export instance to achieve this. Now one last thing that we need to do in order to make this queue work is to go into our environment file and change the queue connection to Redis instead of sync. And make sure the Redis is installed on your system. Now all we need to do is go to our terminal and run the command php artisan queue work. This will start the queue process. And now if we go to our browser and hit the endpoint of slash export, we can see our return message and the queue will start to generate the export. Once the export is finished, we can go to our project folder and inside the storage app folder, we can see this file named users.excel. So that is how we can use queues. Now I would like to add a couple more things here. Let's say after generating an export, we want to run a job that would notify some user that the export has finished. And we can use a method named chain inside our controller. And this method takes an array of jobs. All we need to do is define a job or create a job and then pass the instance of the job inside this array. Each job that we add here will be added to the queue and will be executed in the same order because of the FIFA principle. First in, first out. The last thing I want to talk about shortly is on how you can handle the errors in your queue export. For this inside our export class, you can define a method named failed, which takes in a parameter of throwable exception. And whenever an error occurs inside your export, this method will be fired. You can do whatever you want, like create a log entry inside your database, or maybe show the error in a log file specific to exports, or whatever you want to do. And that also brings us to the end of the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel in case you find it helpful.